What's going on everybody? Liam O'Reilly, Vermont Economic Realtor. Hope you're doing well. Got a couple links I'm gonna leave down in the description for you folks. Uh, the first is a CNN article talking about how home prices are, are still rising, but home sales are dropping. Uh, I believe they say that, that nationally home sales have dropped by 29% year over year. And that's the number of transactions. So not the price, but the amount of homes being bought and sold. Price is still going up. Um, in that article, they, you know, an expert says that they expect half of the U.S. housing markets to drop year over year. They expect half to have a modest increase. Um, and, you know, obviously in the middle, there's going to be some that are um, go up a little bit, go down a little bit or, or basically stay the same. Um, obviously, as you folks know, there's no U.S. housing market. It's it's all regional. It all depends on local economies and, and what's going on. Um, but it, it really got me thinking um, about the opportunity that we're in now. Um, you know, I, I, I'm going to be looking for a home in 2023 at the beginning of 2023 um, for, for a couple reasons. But as I was thinking about how home sales are slowing down, it got me thinking about what happened back in 2008. And I'm I'm too young to have taken advantage of the 2008 housing bust, um, which obviously you know it, it nationally housing prices went down 20% roughly. Um, Vermont they went down about 5%. Vermont's a little different; it's a little bit more insulated because we don't have the supply, um, and we didn't have the supply that other markets had. So we you know tend to be less affected um, by housing market downturns um, because you can't have that. It's harder to have that supply and demand imbalance here in Vermont than it is in other states that that build like crazy. But if you talk if you talk to people who did take advantage of the 08 housing market or you listen to podcasts of, of people who did, they will tell you that it was difficult to get financing back then. You know, the, the economy was bad. The unemployment was high. Um, a bunch of people were defaulting on their mortgages and banks were scared to lend. So you had to be, you know, very qualified in order to get into the housing market, which caused housing prices, again, nationally to drop by around 19%. Um, obviously Vermont was only around 5%, so a little less insulated, but regardless, um, the, the point was, the point is that it was difficult to obtain financing then. So you know, if you weren't in a strong financial position, you weren't going to take advantage or you couldn't take advantage of the drop of the housing crash of the, the cheap housing prices that were there. Now, when I think about what's going on right now in the housing market and how housing sales are slowing down at the same time, inventory is slowing down. Um, you know, the, the demand for these homes is shrinking because people can't afford them. Like we talked in these other videos that unaffordability, affordability is really low. Housing is really unaffordable. Um, you know, that, that CNN article also mentions that new builds are way down. So in inventory is staying very tight while, afford, you know, affordability is decreasing. It's less affordable to buy a home. But if you're one of the people who can purchase a home and you've, you know, you've set yourself up in a advantageous financial position to where you can, you can buy in this difficult environment, that to me, you know, it, it seems like we're going to look back at this time and think of those people as lucky. I mean, I, I'm, I'm lucky enough where I will be in a position to purchase a home in the upcoming months. And, you know, I, I think once these rates start to drop, we're not bringing new supply to the market. Um, so all, all we're doing is crushing demand. And if rates drop, I mean, whether that's in six months or or two years, the, you know, the, the, the demand is still going to be there. The people that want to purchase a home are going to want to jump right back into the housing market. So when it becomes easier to obtain financing and easier, you know, to purchase the home, then that's going to cause prices to to increase. Um, 
you know, I, at the same time, I, I've been talking to uh, some buyers of mine, actually one buyer who, who watches the YouTube channel, Jeff, if you're watching this, um, but we've been having this conversation uh, or we had a conversation earlier about how he was working with a realtor before who didn't want to ask the listing agent questions. He didn't want to inquire about the seller's position and, and try to figure out what was going on and, and really if they're a motivated seller. Um, and that, you know, in my opinion, is going to be the best opportunity in the upcoming years because housing, you know, inventory is still tight. Even though buyers are shrinking, inventory is still tight. So, you know, we went from a huge imbalance of supply being normal and the buyers, you know, there was a ton of buyers because interest rates were really low. A bunch of money got pumped into the system. People started to take advantage, selling, selling, selling. And we've seen inventory go like this, like this, like this. And over in 2020 and 2022, or 2020 and 2021, the buyers were all up here. There was a, still a bunch of demand. Interest rates were still low. Everyone could buy. People were people who wanted to sell were getting out, getting out, getting out. And now we're seeing this buyer pool come down, but the sellers are still down here. Inventory is can, has continuously dropped. So as the buyer pool begins to shrink, there's going to be less sellers for these homes. And the people that are going to take advantage of this opportunity of this market are going to be people working with agents who are going to ask questions, who are going to find the motivated sellers in this market, because not every home is going to sell. Not every home is going to sell for what it's listed for. And not every seller is a motivated seller. There's, there's some people who put it on the market and if they don't get the price that they want, they are not going to sell. There's other people that need to sell, whether it be a job, um, whether they, you know, whether it's a flipper that, that renovated and has no intention of, of renting the property or, um, or moving in, their only option is to sell. Uh, you know, at a certain point, they're going to be burning a hole through their pocket, um, through their loan costs that they have, or just the utilities, the taxes, things along those lines. And, um, you know, they'll, they'll be willing to sell for a loss in some instances. Same thing with home buyers. If, if somebody gets a job in another location and they need to sell, they need to move, you could get a good deal on that home. Um, but, you know, having an agent who's willing to, to talk to sellers obviously helps in that situation. But um, even if you don't push your agent and, and um, ask him to ask him or her to ask the tough questions of the listing agent, you know, what is the seller's situation? Because if the seller isn't motivated and they don't want to sell um, and they, they aren't going to consider, you know, they aren't going to consider an offer after being on the market for 30 days with, you know, three showings, then they're probably not the right seller for you. But at this time, when you know, when a good portion of the buyer pool ha is forced to sit on the sideline because of these higher rates, in my opinion, that's a good time to look for those motivated sellers who um, their home has been sitting on the market for for a decent amount of time, and they might be con willing to consider an offer. They might be willing to give um, you know an offer under asking price. They might be willing to give money back towards closing costs. And in my mind, that's where you're going to find the best deals or we're going to look back at the people who who bought a home during this time um as you know as smart people just as we look back at people who purchased in the you know 2009 10 11 during the bottom of the housing market as you know smart investors who who made a savvy decision but um you know a, a, again a big reason behind why prices drop so much is because not everybody could obtain financing. And so now as we're, we're entering and, and really in an environment where a good portion of demand has been crushed, um, now's a good time to, to swoop in and buy. Um, as a seller, you know, as a seller, you're going to want, you, if you want to get top dollar for your home right now, you should make sure that your home is in the best shape that it can relative to the other prices or to the other properties around. Um, you know, if you're the if you're the worst home in the four hundred thousand dollar price range, like I said, there's not as many buyers out there because people can't qualify for for mortgages. So 
they're going to go to they're going to go to the nicest house in their price range. They're going to start to have the the pick of the litter. Um, so it doesn't mean that you're you know you have to adjust your expectations. The home might sit on the market for a little bit longer, but if you are the nicest home on the block and you have it priced correctly, um, there are still you know enough buyers around to to purchase your property and, and homes are still selling within a weekend if you have a price correctly because supply like like the article shows is still very low so uh i hope this helps i kind of uh rambled a little bit in the middle there but um let me know what you guys think i think you know in the na between now um really until until the federal reserve pivots if you're in the position to purchase a property i think you're going to be look you're, you'll look back at this property and um you know, wish you could have bought more um, because it's it'll be so competitive in the future. But um, let me know what you guys think. Vermont Economic Realtor, um, leave me a comment or um, feel free to reach out directly. All right, guys, see you in the next video.